So fireworks there. For more on the legal aspect of this, joining me now, Aaron Ehrlich and Bob Bianchi. Uh, Bob, let's start with you, my friend. Uh, and I mispronounced your last name, Bob Bianchi. Apologies. <laughs> Not a problem. What's your reaction to that exchange? It was heated. Uh, what was your interpretation? Well, you know, as a lawyer, you never ask somebody what somebody else was thinking. It's very difficult for, obviously, the right. witness to answer the question. Uh, Sessions did an incredibly strong job on many things in terms of defending his reputation and his integrity. But listen, this is an investigation where a lot of people have to eventually be interviewed. And there was a lot of information that he, rightly or wrongly, refused to discuss because this issue isn't so much. I think he did a great job that he, I didn't collude with anybody. I didn't mm -hmm. have any kind of things of this nature. The real issue are what happened after Comey was fired and what Mr. President Trump had tweeted and the things that he said during the Lester Holt interview. And there's many more witnesses, so we just can't say at this stage of an investigation, and I've done investigations my whole career, until you finish it all and put the pieces together. Uh, although, i got to say, Sessions did a great job today, no doubt. Well, a fascinating exchange. And, Aaron, to you, uh, a lot of the conversation today centered around why Sessions would have said that Comey had to go. Why did he get involved if he had recused himself in the Russia investigation? I want you to hear this sound and then comment. Listen to this. When the, uh, Mr. Comey uh, declined the Clinton prosecution, uh, that was really a usurpation of the authority uh, of the federal prosecutors in the Department of Justice. It was a stunning development. The, the uh, FBI are, is the investigative team. They don't decide prosecution policies. And so uh, that was a, a thunderous thing. A thunderous thing, Aaron. Uh, sort of a shock and awe reaction. Were you surprised by that? Not really. It was to be expected. What was he going to say? That that was the reason why he had recommended that Trump fire, fire uh, the former FBI director? What he said was what you would have anticipated. The problem is whether or not Congress is going to actually find that testimony to be credible. And I think you saw a lot of pushback from members of the Senate saying, the chronology here just doesn't add up. Why would he have given any recommendation if Mr. Trump or President Trump had already made a determination? And ultimately, Congress is the trier of fact. They're going to weigh his credibility and they're going to make a determination. Bob, I guess uh, timing matters, but, uh, you know, when he focused on this issue, I thought it was fascinating. Yeah. Because all along, we, you know, the, all fingers were pointing to Russia yeah. and the Russia investigation. Right, Bob? But he says, no, it's Clinton. That's what I'm upset about. That's what I'm concerned about. That was the thing that really set off the lights in my household. What do you make of that? Listen, as a head of a prosecutorial agency myself, I, I agree with what Jeff Sessions said. Now, Director Comey gave an explanation as to why he did it. And essentially what Director Comey said, if you interpret it, is that I had no faith in the Department of Justice and that I felt I had to get out ahead of it because they knew that there were going to be leaks in the media about the investigation. However, one thing to me that was very, very clear when that testimony came out, and I have respect for Director Comey. He was between a rock and a hard place, but, it, but Sessions is 100 percent correct. Once you say you're no longer investigating, which let's assume that that was an appropriate thing for him to do under the circumstances, to then go in as a, a law enforcement person and then condemn the actions right. as being reckless, whatever, was probably too far according to the ethics rules in my mind. Bob and Aaron, thanks for coming on tonight. Great job. Thank you. We Thank are going to have.